Hi, welcome to Game Analyze. I'm Auna. Today we'll be talking about NPCs in games and how to improve your NPCs. First, we'll differentiate two types of NPCs. The first one is the decoration NPC or filler NPC which is used only to fill the scenery, but does not interact with the player. Next, we have the interactable NPC, which is, as the name suggests, interactive. So now, let's talk about the uses for NPCs. You can see lots of games using NPCs for lots of things, like the old man in Breath of the Wild, who guides you through the start of the game and gives you one of the key items in the game. He also gives some of the game's lore and guides you to your next objective. It's important to not go too far with NPCs, as the player can't remember every character in the game. You can also use your NPCs, as I said in my hubs video, as a progress indicator. Decoration NPCs are also useful, for example to fill a city and make it feel alive, or getting a lake full of fish, or just to give context on where you are, for example Using a samurai as a decoration NPC gives context on where you are in location, which would be Japan, and in time, it being some time in the medieval era. As you see, even though you don't interact with it, a filler NPC is really useful in a game. But don't get too deep with them, remember that the player won't interact with them and probably will forget about them quickly, so don't spend too much time with them. Either way, NPCs of both kinds are really useful in many ways, so you should keep that in mind for your game. Even your weapon could be an NPC, or like in Mario Odyssey, your hat But we've talked enough about uses for NPCs. Let's talk about aesthetics. As I said before, the looks of an NPC can give context on space and time, but they can also show status, like in the army, they show it through their suits. They can show personality, like how you associate vivid colors with an open, talkative and active person but you do the opposite with dark colors. It can show lots of different things just from aesthetic. Give variety to your NPCs through their looks, so you can tell them apart from the rest of NPCs. You can also give NPCs unique clothing, so they are more recognizable, and even use that clothing as a plot element. Like, for example, having to find it because the NPC lost it. You can also give the player an option to change the looks of NPCs, so he feels closer to them and is more caring about them, as they are not random NPC, but their own unique NPC.
you don't want to make an option to change them completely, at least make options for clothing colors and such. The aspect of the NPC can also show power for others, like in Pokemon, shiny Pokemons feel more important because of the color, but can actually be useless in battle. Having a rare color makes players feel they are better than the rest. But let's change a bit the topic. We'll now talk about making players care about the NPC to improve yours as a character. One of the ways to make a player care about an NPC is personalization, which we already talked about a bit, so let's keep it. Another is to make the NPC look like an achievement, like I say, for shiny Pokemon. But most importantly, you can make a player care about an NPC giving it relevance, either game-wise, story-wise, or both. That's why, in Final Fantasy VII, Aris' death is so important. She is not only a big part of the plot, but also the healer in the team, which makes her death not only a part of the, of the story, but also is noticed by the player in the next fights, as he's now got no healer. That's why I think an important NPC should have a role, even if the role doesn't affect the game itself, like for example losing a healer. This doesn't mean you can't continue without it, it just affects you indirectly. You can also make a player care, making the NPC funny, which means if he wasn't in the team, everyone would be sad and there would be no laughs, or making an NPC always be by your side, even if he doesn't affect the plot, so you fill an empty space where he should be. There are a lot more things to talk about for NPCs, but those were the most important and useful tips. If you want more on this topic, let me know. But anyways, I'm Auna, and this has been Game Analyze. Game Analyzed.